What's going on guys? This is your boy LC and I'm here with my teammate John. What's up guys? I wanted to make this video to share with you guys a technique that I've been working on for a while and it's been working really well for me. It's the paper cutter choke or how we like to call in Bronx Jiu Jitsu, el pan con mantequilla. So I'm basically going to share with you guys my entry, my setup and the overall thought process behind the choke. So try not to blink because it's going to be awesome. We're gonna assume we already made it past the guard and into side control. When we get to side control, we wanna work on stabilizing it. So, if you guys are having a hard time trying to pass the guard, make sure to take a look at my guard passing techniques. Um, I'll leave a link down in the description for that. So, uh, when stabilizing side control, you wanna make sure that either your knee or your hip is down and right next to his hip, blocking him, keeping him from tripping out and regaining his guard here, okay? So once we're here and we've stabilized the position, we've stabilized side control, now it's gonna be our time to attack. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hand, the one that's cross-facing him, or the top hand, and I'm gonna bring it around and hold the back of his tricep here, all right? Then I'm gonna take my bottom hand, the one that's closest to his legs, I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna block his hip to prevent him from uh, shrimping into me. Then I'm gonna start walking north-south. When I walk north-south, I'm gonna use my hips to bring his arm over his face and around his neck. And the idea here is you wanna stay real heavy and tight and you wanna create a lot of discomfort so that he'd wanna take his arm out. So once I do that, the hand that's next to his hip is gonna come around and grab his lapel. It's gonna be four fingers in, right by his neck, All right? Then keeping the pressure, we're gonna lighten up a little bit, just enough so that he can take his arm out. Once he does, we're gonna drop the right hip blocking him from bringing his arm back on the inside and is gonna prevent him from uh, bridging and taking you to the other side all right so keep your hips down and stay heavy once we've done this we're gonna start walking back towards side control staying real heavy and keeping your head down we're gonna grab his lapel thumb in right by the collar by the collarbone and then we're gonna bring both of our hips down straight down to the mat, the elbow goes straight down to the mat. Sometimes uh, the guys are gonna tap just to this alone. Uh, but in the, case, in the case that the guy does not tap, we're gonna start walking our elbow towards the top of his head until he taps. All right, so we're gonna do it one more time. Side control, we've stabilized the position. So now we're gonna commence our attack. Our cross face hand is gonna come around, grab the back of his tricep. The bottom hand is gonna come, block the hip here. We're gonna start walking north-south, staying real heavy, creating discomfort, making him wanna take his hand out of there. We're gonna grab the back of the lapel, four fingers in, give him enough space to take the hand out and immediately drop our hip to prevent the bridge. We're gonna start walking back to side control, thumb in, right by the collar, grab his lapel, elbow down, hips down, start walking towards the head. All right guys, so that was uh, my panko mantequilla, AKA paper cutter choke. So if you guys liked it and enjoyed it, please smash the thumbs up button and uh, leave a comment down in the comment section. Also, if you have any variations and stuff like that, I'd love to hear it, all right? So take care guys. Peace. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to smash the thumbs up button. Also, you can catch some of my competition videos on the bottom right hand portion of the screen. I'll leave a link to those in the description as well. And don't forget to subscribe and support the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.